Hey, you guys, I am so excited to have Don, aka Minimal Mom, back with me, you guys. And Don, thanks for being here. Thank you, Rachel. Oh my gosh. Every time she comes on, you guys love her. I, I love her. It's just fantastic. So we're going to talk about minimalism because that is something we talk about a lot on this show. And when you're taking control of your money, again, it's really helpful to adopt some of these habits when it comes to the minimalist practices in your life to help you simplify your life and spend less money. And Dawn and her family have been practicing this for over, what, eight years yeah. now, which is amazing. And she's been always gracious on this show to share her knowledge with us. And she's been on multiple times, so I'll make sure to put the link to all of those videos down below. So today, in honor of a new year and a fresh start, we're going to share some of the things that we are no longer going to spend money on. So I asked Dawn to make a list for her. Mm -hmm. I've made a list. So we are going to talk through it and why we've decided to cut these things out of our life. And so I'm curious from you guys, what things that you're going to cut out of your life so that you spend less in 2024. So make sure to stick around and drop those comments down while you are watching. But before we get into all of that, I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors, Christian Healthcare Ministries. If your healthcare costs are increasing while your available choices are decreasing, make sure to check out Christian Healthcare Ministries. CHM is a biblically-based health cost-sharing ministry, and it's an affordable alternative to health insurance. So check out more about them at chministries.org slash budget. That's chministries.org slash budget. All right, Don, let's jump right in to these lists because okay. you're very great. You're a great thinker. You always think outside the box. <laughs> and all her ideas, I'm always like, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so why don't you start with something that you're cutting out? All right, I, and again, if you are married to any of these things, of course you can keep them. But it's amazing how many things we buy and we keep without actually really thinking about it. So number one, question all of the rugs in your house, the scatter rugs and the throw rugs and the area rugs, because it's just one more thing that we have to sweep around and move around and shake and vacuum. And it just gets in the way most of the yes. time. Yes. Okay. You know, the ones that we just like, just was the ones by our bathroom sink. Oh yeah. Like I had two, yep. by, and, and I did away with those years right. ago and I don't miss them. They collect the hairspray and the hair yes, and like all yes. the things. It's like the like, worst so part. <laughs> like I'd rather have an outdoor rug right. than the one by my sink with all my makeup and hair and everything on it. Okay. That's a good one. All right, number two is microfiber towels. So fascinating. So I'm so grateful for you all because you teach me things every day. And so one day I'm like, okay, get your microfiber from Amazon. There's this great set. And, and like so many comments were like, hold the phone. We don't buy microfiber anymore. And so I'm like, tell me more. So oh. it turns out that microfiber is basically small plastic particles. And it breaks down in our water, and they are forever chemicals. They get into our body, our water sources, and all this. And I'm like, I had no idea. Me neither. And so there are catchers that you can buy when you launder them to help catch the little fibers or whatever. And so I am going to use up the ones that I have in my house. I'm not going to purchase new ones. And really what I've learned from professional cleaners now is you can actually just use, like, the cotton bar rigs. And so— they're not as fancy, right? Everything's microfiber now, yeah, but they right, actually right. do work really well. But they're fine. Yes. yes. Okay, that's so good to know. Because mm -hmm. I can get on a train of like, oh yeah, I need like six of them. I need, oh, I need sure. so many. And yes. yep. And it's nice to get new ones sometimes too, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, so one of mine is cups. Okay. I know that sounds kind of funny, but whether it's coffee cups, mm -hmm. water cups, water bottles, I get so many yep. just like, tumblers or the kids come home. They came home totally. from the dentist two days ago with little water bottles. And the dentist like, but it's like plastic, yeah. you know, all of it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, we just stack up all this crap. Yes. And, our, and what stresses me out the most on is I open our cabinet yep. and it all like, and you're trying to push yes. everything back in. I'm like, I'm done. I'm right. done. So anything around... Yep. Like more water models or coffee yeah. cups, I'm done. So. Especially the promo, the promotional ones that aren't as good a quality, so they don't yes. seal well yep. and they leak. I need just a couple. Like give yeah. me a nice Yeti or two, Yep, and I'm good. But I don't need right. all these. It's and great. it's so much harder to unload the dishwasher and everything. It's actually mm -hmm. best if your kitchen cabinets are like half full. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it the easiest to put stuff away and to get your family to also put stuff away. So good. Love it. Love it. Okay, so what's one of yours? All right, next, gimmicky kitchen gadgets and cleaning products. So this is tough. I mean, I think we've all gone to the Pampered Chef party and the hostess is so good at using the products. So she's like, look at this chopper. I'm just going to, and again, I'm not against Pampered Chef by any means. Like I, but I think, and we see influencers using kitchen gadgets and they're like, look how quick this is. And it's so easy. Well, yes, because they've gotten very good at it. That's what they do. And they're trying to sell something. And then we get it home and I'm like, 
I don't even take it out of the box because I don't even know how to assemble it. <laughs> or we do use it once and we're like, this was way more work to clean yes. than it was worth the time it saved me for chopping the onion. Totally. Right? And so we've acquired a lot of gimmicky, gadgety things, even household cleaners that we think are going to make our life easier, and they don't. They yeah. just end up cluttering up our kitchen. They're hard to get rid of because we've spent money on them. But today, permission to let those things go if you are not using them and they're just cluttering up your kitchen. Yep. Okay. That's good. I love that. Okay, next. I'm very interested about next. this one, Dawn. Okay, skincare, perfume, lotion, candles. So, again, I kind of want to blame influencers a little bit for this. <laughs> um, I feel like every influencer I follow, or it follow is like, this is my skincare routine, yes. and this is my miracle hair care products, and this is my miracle cleaner. And every week, they have, like, a new thing yep. that they're trying to sell me. And it's very confusing, Rachel, because in many ways, they feel like my friends— Yes, right? Totally, and I'm like, totally. my friends would not steer me wrong. Like, if they're <laughs> recommending it, yes. it should be really good. And once in a while, it is. Often, it's not. Yep. And now, I have all these things in my cabinets, from the bathroom to the kitchen, everywhere, that I've acquired and I'm not using. And so, mm -hmm. I made a rule about a year ago. At, at, like, at the beginning of 2023, I'm like, this is the year of using everything up. I'm like, I am not buying anything new so in these smart. areas until it is all used up. And what I found is that it's not actually the skincare system or the cleaner that's magical. It's when you use it. It's when you use consistently. it consistently, mm -hmm. right? Totally. And so most cleaners and most products work really well when you use them consistently. Yep. So again, we're at the beginning of a new year. So a great time to like commit. I am using things up before I buy anything oh, new. It's so good. And I'm the worst with hair stuff. Yes. I'm like, I'll see all this different like mm -hmm. boost Body, this. Right? Or and like, I'm like, I need that. The texture spray. Yes. And all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, I'll try that and that and I that. Know. Because somehow I'm going to have long flowy, thick hair, right? Like, and with all of this, it's going to work. And you're like, no, mm -mm, no. So yeah, that's that's my that's my weakness for sure, for sure. Okay, one that I'm not doing anymore is buying like nice kids clothes. Yeah. So there's a sweet store, Janie and Jack. I don't know okay. if y'all have one in Minnesota, but it's like the cutest stuff, but it is, it's expensive. And I would mm -hmm. go through every year and buy like, maybe like six nice pieces for my kids okay. per season. Did they wear them, Dawn? No. No, they did not wear them. Nope. Yeah. And there I am packing them up to give to our little neighbor right. with price tags still on yeah. them. And I'm like, oh, this is like, this is nice stuff. So I'm done. I'm just like, yeah. it's going to be the old Navy Target. And it may not even last for the right. season. And I don't care anymore. I'm just like, I'm going to spend a fourth of the money. Yes. And if, it and can't if we be, have to buy another piece throughout the season, I will. That actually feels better, right? Mm -hmm. To because we've gone to that point now too with our kids, where they're actually wearing their clothes out. Yes, right. And by yes. the time they're done with it, that it is just done. And I'm like, that feels so much better yes, yes. than donating the clothes that are still like new. Yeah. And so we decided. I'm like, I actually only need at, at any age of our children, like they needed one dress outfit. Yes. And that was yeah, it. Yeah. Right. But it's so fun, especially even if you're going to garage sales and and thrift stores, like. It's always the nice clothes that are there, right? Because always. their kids didn't wear them. And uh -huh. I'm like, it's only $2. I'm just going to grab this. Yep, yep. And then, again, you feel so guilty once they've outgrown it and they haven't worn it. Yes. And so I think there's so much wisdom in being like, okay, what type of clothes do my kids actually yeah. wear? Because what our kids wear to school, yeah. even the girls, it's like like Nike shorts and T-shirts. Yep. That's all anyone wears. Right. And I'm just like, why yep. am I trying to convince you to wear a dress? I don't know. I, know. I just think it's cute with like a <laughs> right. headband to look somewhat put together. But nope, they all just run out the door. Right. The whole thing, I'm like, I'm done. That's great. Right. That's great. Go, girl. Right. You go, girl. <laughs> all right. Next is jewelry. So again, I really like to invest in good quality pieces that are very versatile mm -hmm. and that I know that when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I can just grab something. It goes with everything. Dress it up, dress it down, and not have to fuss with storing it and untangling it and having stuff that's, um, you know, going out of style yep. and whatnot. So I've decided to just invest in a few good pieces. I mean, invest. I mean, these are from Target. Um, I love know, it. But they're very neutral, versatile. They yes. go with everything. Mine are Amazon. Okay, nice. Yeah. yeah. So easy. But not to have to put much thought into getting dressed and what I'm going to wear. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing the amount of, like, mental space that you actually end up having when you don't have a thousand choices. Yeah. Because jewelry, earrings are probably my weakness. Okay. I do love earrings. Okay. But I even, like, today, I'm like, and I, I always just go back to just the right? gold earring. I'm like, why don't I just, I'm like, I can't believe it. But the mental space that it takes to, like, have to sit there and sift through and think and decide, I'm like, no, yeah. it's, yeah, it's too much. All right, next is unnecessary home decor or furniture. So, again, I mean, stores like Home Goods and Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx, oh, my goodness, the 
amount of home decor. Like mm-hmm. when you walk in there, I'm just like, how can they fit so many things in such <laughs> a like thing. small square footage? <laughs> totally. And it's so tempting because, I mean, in many ways, I think as women, it is fun to make our house beautiful and to look nice. But I just found, again, especially I think the season of life we're in with young kids and running them places, that it was more to manage. It was more to dust. It was things that were going out of style. And then I'm like, oh, I want to switch it out. And so I have found that as I've I've simplified, highly simplified the furniture and the decor in our house, that it's so much easier to take care of. Mm -hmm. And it's also easier for our kids to help. I realized that often I wasn't even asking our kids to help in certain areas because I'm like, oh, don't break that or don't touch that or only I can do that. And so I feel like our our house now, it's much more peaceful that we don't Mm. have so much of that stuff in it. Oh, I love that. I know. Because for me, I'm like, I, because I've, I haven't done this in a while. I really haven't. But we were talking about earlier Christmas decor from the previous season and how we bought some stuff years ago, invested in nice pieces. And I feel like when we shopped in 2019 for our home, that's the philosophy I took. I'm like, I just want to invest in some nice stuff so I don't have to go through TJ Maxx and feel like, oh, I should get a new throw pill, all this stuff. I'm like, you know what? No, I have what I like and it's fine and it's fine. So it's nice. And I I mean, I do think that's hard too because there's so many influencers that make their living by showing us different like home decor and stuff. totally. And I love them as people, but I have had to unfollow, especially if you're working on getting out of debt, working, I mean, I love your children's book about finding contentment. Yes, Um, yes. And so I do think sometimes we have to unfollow certain accounts and or mute them for a while so that we aren't always tempted to buy some of these things. Yes, totally. You open it up and you see something new. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one thing I'm not buying this year, y'all have to hold me to it, (laughs) is jeans. Okay, this sounds so silly. I've realized with jeans, the style changes Mm. every season. Yes. Every season. So it goes from this thing to that thing to that. And and so last year, I I did the mom, high-waisted, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, straight-legged. And I was like, you know what? And I bought probably three to four nice pairs of jeans. Because it's basically all I wear. I just wear jeans all the time. And I'm like, and that's it. I'm not going to go buy anymore. Because let's be honest, next season, I know it's, it's going to change. Different. And I'm going to want it because I know me. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, I'm not going to stack up on right. jeans. Because I used to say, oh, I'll have a lot of jeans because it is what I wear. And now I'm yeah. like, no. You don't actually need a lot. I don't need yeah. a lot. So mm-hmm. hold me to it, Dawn. I love that. No jeans in 2024. (laughs) Yeah. No, every time I reset my wardrobe for the season, I have two pairs of jeans. And again, that idea like, I kind of want to wear them out, you know? And then then the next year when the style changes, I'm like, I can justify getting new jeans. And because I have, I've worn the, I've gotten the use out of them. I got my money out of them. And, you know, mostly always two pairs of jeans would fit in my budget, no matter where we were at getting out of debt. And so I love that. And again, is anybody really looking at no. your jeans that much? No, no, right? no. So, all right. Next is no fake plants. So again, um, this is something that friends online gave me a hard time about. They would see like my fake IKEA plants, and they were like, "Don, you should upgrade to some real plants." And I'm like, mm-hmm. "No, because I kill them." Right? You know, <laughs> yes, I was just like, yes. "It's very logical." And so I was like, "Okay, I'll start with a couple easy ones." And then I started having them in our house, and I'm like. Oh, it's very nice, actually, to have living things around us and not Mm -hmm. dead things, dead fake plants. And so, again, I still stick to plants that are very easy. I have had to throw a couple away. Um, But I I have graced myself with that. But it is actually very enjoyable now having some real plants around the house, probably because our kids are a little bit older, too. I feel like I can take that on. Totally, totally. And and getting rid of all the fake ones. Yes, I love that. I know we have— these two vases in our front room when you walk into our house and they had orchids. Because those are not supposed to be hard to kill, apparently. Yeah. And I've replaced them a handful of times. <laughs> but when they are replaced and yeah. I am in the same, it yeah. is, there's just something so like peaceful yeah. about having yes. living plants. Mm-hmm. So I'm with you on that. I love that. I need to do more of it. I think it's great. And there's supposedly something about the color green that helps mm-hmm. us to like relax. And then, yep. and, you know, they help like clean the air and whatnot. We probably need all the help with that. We can oh, I know. It, right. So. Right. Totally. Totally. <laughs> all right. Next is kids toys and craft supplies. So uh, something that I have learned on this journey of becoming minimalist and getting rid of 85% of our stuff is that kids need very little when it comes to craft supplies and toys. And And it was always important to me that I had very creative kids. I was creative Mm -hmm. growing up and did lots of different art stuff. But I realized that kids don't need the stuff. They just need their imagination. Because we've seen when kids can go outside and build nothing from sticks or other things they find. Or, you know, the joke always around Christmas is like, oh, well, they just need to play with the boxes. Right? And so, again, I kind of did this experiment where I was just like, I don't enjoy maintaining the craft supplies. It felt like a big mess all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I am going to remove the craft supplies. I am just going to have like cardboard.
cardboard boxes, masking tape is very safe for kids, and some markers. And they would play with that stuff for hours. And so I know it's fun to go to the dollar store, go different places and get all the fun bright color and the pom-poms and and the pipe cleaners. But if that is a lot for you to manage and if you're kind of tired of having to organize it and take care of it and your kids aren't very good at, at doing it, I would encourage you to highly simplify that stuff and just let them use their own imaginations with the limited things they have. You're going to be so impressed with the things that your kids come up with. Oh, it's so fun. Don, you're a hero. Thank you for just <laughs> releasing all of that from us. Feeling like, because it is true. Yep. I'm like, we have a thing of crayons and we'll get some from like a, you know, even a restaurant. Yep. They'll come home and I'm like, just throwing throw the crayon. There. Yeah. And I'm like, that with some blank sheets of paper. Seriously, yeah. my kids still, yeah. to this day, I'll do it. And it's like, and it just does something for them. I'm like, yeah. this is great. This is great. Mm-hmm. Okay, one thing I'm not doing in 2024 is the Target dollar section. I'm right there with you, sister. I, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I've been pretty good at it recently. That's yep. why I feel confident I can put it on this list. Because yeah. I'm like, I think I really can fulfill this one. Because I used to just go buy stuff. Yeah. Just crap. That I'm like, and you justify yeah. it. Price justify it. Oh, I don't need sure. it. Yeah, My kids don't need it. I mean, it's all yeah. of it. So, I, yeah, put the blinders on. Keep yeah. moving. Well, and I notice, because I'm always, you know, around my house, I'm like looking like what stands the test of time and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I felt like even though it was always like super cute, on trend, inexpensive, the scale was never right. Like it would be cute in the store and then I get it home and I'm like, it's so tiny. It's yeah. tiny. Yes. I need 14 of those. Yes, or I have to yes. pair it now with something from, you know, TJ Maxx or whatever. Totally. And so I, I did. I'm like, this stuff does not stand the test of time. Or it goes out of style. Mm-hmm. And so, again, I, I put the blinders on and I I haven't really missed any of it. I know. No. Me neither. Me neither. It's good. All right. Next, things I no longer buy are subscription boxes. So in the beginning, when they first came out, I'm like, this is so fun. Yes. You can try new things. I had an Ipsy subscription. And you get, like, different makeup products. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's so fun to try new things. And, like, the first box is super fun. The second one, you're like, oh, I use some of it. But then there's stuff I didn't. But I feel like with subscription boxes, most of them, by the time you get the second, third, fourth, you end up bringing a lot of stuff into your home yep. that you don't end up using, doesn't totally fit your needs, and they're kind of expensive, too. Yes, totally. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, it's like I half the stuff I just didn't never use. And right. then it ends up in a drawer. Yes. Because I feel bad throwing it away right. or whatever it is, and <laughs> yes. it just keeps it going. So, yeah, I'm with you. I haven't done them. I haven't done them in years. Yeah. yeah. I'm the same. All right, next. Again, it's the new year workout equipment. And so uh, how guilty do we feel when we buy new shoes, new workout equipment, new leggings or whatever it is, new gym memberships, and then we never use it and we see it there. And so my best encouragement to you is to start the new habit first and then reward yourself with the new stuff. So really, if you're hoping to get in shape this year, you could just walk outside. I mean, Mm -hmm. Minnesota, Nashville, not. It depends on the weather. (laughs) Um, But there's so many things you can watch free exercise videos on YouTube. There are so many things that we could do right now to start the habit. And then once we've proven to ourselves and kept this commitment with ourselves, then we can reward ourselves with new shoes or some new equipment. Mm -hmm. And that feels so good. Yes, for sure. Once the habit is in, Mm -hmm. because I think you're exactly right. You get, because I used to feel like, Oh, if I get the stuff, that's, that's going to be the thing. That, do it, right? That's going to be the motivator. And it's not. The no. stuff just, the newness of it is done. Right. It's just another cute pair of yoga pants, but yep. you're not doing yoga. So <laughs> you doing it though and getting in that rhythm. And yeah. then I love that, rewarding yourself with a great outfit because let's be yeah. honest, you've earned it. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I'll do it. I can do that. <laughs> okay. So one thing we're not doing and spending money on in 2024 is nice restaurants with the kids. Mm. I don't know why we do this, Dom. We do it to ourselves. <laughs> because Winston and I love good food. Yes. So we're like, if we're going to go out to eat, like, you know, you can only do Chick-fil-A so many right, times. So right. like, let's go to like a nice restaurant. Yeah. Our kids are just at the cusp. I think like 2025. Okay. <laughs> I may insert it back Something in. Something to look forward to. <laughs> but there's just still that like amount of stress yeah. as a mom that yes. I'm like, everyone, shh, don't, because I don't want y'all ruining everyone else's Everyone food. else, right. Yes. And like, you're not eating mm-hmm. the kid's meal. That was $14 right. or whatever. Right. And I'm just like, Oh my gosh, why do we do this? And Winston, yeah. I can't enjoy it. So no. we're reserving all nice restaurants just for me and Winston yeah. for date nights. I'm like, I think that's a great We idea. can enjoy g- great restaurants, but why bring why bring the kids? They're going to want a chocolate milk that costs five. You know what I mean? Like the whole, <laughs> know, all of it, right? all of it. I'm just like, oh my gosh. So that's one thing. That's one thing that we're cutting out. So we'll see. We'll see if it sticks. So as you guys can see, you know, overall, there's no like, magic to one specific thing or product that's just changed our lives. Mm -hmm. But really what brings the most fulfillment is keeping it simple to free up my time and my mind so I can spend it with the people that I love. So be smart, you guys. Be smart when you go and spend money that it's not the thing that brings peace in your life. It's who you are. 
And I'll just tell you, it it gets easier over time to say no. So yes. start that muscle and it will come natural. So Don, thank you so much for being a guest on today. I always love having you in. Yeah, thank you, Rachel. So thanks for all your thoughts and where can everyone find you? I hang out the most on YouTube. So we have over 700 videos to help you declutter. Of course, January 2, the time where so we're good. looking at moving stuff out of our house. I can help you with that. I'd love to help you declutter. So, so great. I know. I love People love us teaming up, especially on my channel, because so many of the people that watch watch yes, you too. So. It, it really does go hand in hand. Getting out of it. debt and decluttering, it, it's... Yep. yep. They're like BFFs. So <laughs> great. So don't forget to comment on what you've decided to not spend money on in 2024. We want to hear because maybe it'll give us some ideas. And share this video with a friend who is looking to spend less this year. And remember, you guys, to take control of your money and create a life you love. 